Hello. In the last video, we ran a parallel lines regression model and got this as the output. In this video, we'll be taking the data from this regression output and creating a parallel lines fitted line plot. Uh, again, we're using the same data, rent in dollars, square footage, and uh, location, either on the south side or west side of Madison. And the data represents uh, 200 apartments. First thing I'll do is take the, I want to take the square footage and rent data and split it into two parts, one for south and one for west. So I highlight the data for the south side apartments, copy that, and I'll paste them right here. I don't need the middle values. Uh, indicator anymore so I'll delete that column okay so this data right here represents south um, I'll merge these three top cells here and let's call it south I will now take the square footage and rent data for west copy that let's paste that right here Again, I don't need the middle column. I know this is west because it was coded 1. Okay. I'm going to need a new column of fitted values. We'll create those shortly. And this is west. Okay. So to create the fitted values, I uh, type the formula for the south side uh, regression equation, but I'll use the coefficients right from the output. So I'm taking the intercept plus the slope times the x value to get a fitted value at this particular point. Let's just format this to one decimal place. Um, okay, I want to copy this formula down, uh, but before I do, I should lock in this cell references of H19 and H20. I put dollar signs around those cells by clicking next to the letter H and hitting the F4 key. Now I can copy the formula, double click the lower right corner, and all the fitted values are correctly grabbing these coefficients and multiplying by these X values. Okay, I'll do the same thing for West. However, I need to modify the formula just by adding that shift in the intercept. So right here I say let's add H21. Let's lock that cell into place. And we double click the lower right hand corner. Okay, now I have X, Y, and Y hat for both south and west. Let's plot X, Y, and Y hat for one group of points. Insert, scatter, there we go. So the, the blue points represent the actual values of south side uh, square footage and rent values. And the orangish red diagonal uh, points here, the squares, represent the fitted values. Let's right click on this graph, select data, let's rename series 1, click on it, edit, let's call that south. I won't rename series 2 because I'm going to delete the name later, but I'll leave the, the line in the graph. Let's add a series. This new series will be the actual west side apartment values. Click on the icon next to series X. Highlight the data. Okay. Click on Y. We want the actual rent values for Y. Okay. Press OK. You can see the points got added to the graph. Let's add one more series, the fitted values. I won't name this because I'm going to delete the name later anyway. I want the X values, same as before. The Y values are now the fitted values. I added another series to the graph. Press OK. Press OK. There we go. Then the graph. Uh, you can barely see it, but uh, the blue uh, X's here, uh, the purplish X's actually represent the fitted values for west side apartments. Okay, I'm going to clean this up briefly. 
Uh, let's click on series two, click on it again, delete. Click on series four, again, delete. Uh, quick rescaling, format axis. And I'm going from 300 square feet to 1600 square feet by increments of 300. And for Y, let's go right click on that. Let's go 400 to 1400 by increments of 200. Okay, stretch this graph out a little bit, and uh, I'll just uh, format the lines, the fitted values. So right-click on the west side points, fitted values, format data series. I'm going to say marker options, none. Uh, line color, I want a solid, uh, let's say, red line, and I'll make it a little bit thinner. There we go. So that represents the west side points fitted values. Right click on the south side fitted values. Let's say uh, no marker line, no marker points. Let's uh, I'll take green here. Okay. Now I could clean this up a little bit more, and I actually should add axis labels yet. So layout, axis titles. This is square footage. And let's go to Y. That's rent. And that's in dollars. Okay. So um, this looks pretty good. I you know, ordinarily I would clean this up a little bit more. Uh, over all the points, the lines do seem to adequately fit the data. They follow the upward trend. They both have the same slope of 0.6. Uh, although they have different intercepts. Lines differ by $61.63. Okay.